Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, it's World's Alzheimer's Month. We're talking about the 10 signs to look out for and how you can help those who are dealing with the disease. Plus, Chef Plum is taking a classic dinner idea and making it simple for us. He's going to teach us how to make a simple chicken marsala that's packed with flavor. We're starting the amazing race, 35. And an all-new season of the hit CBS show kicks off this week. We have a sneak peek of the epic race around the world. Good luck. Travel safe. Go! We're making your Monday a great one, starting right now. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. You are? I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget your name? No, I just... <laughs> Yeah, we're off to a great Monday. Oh, what <laughs> a Monday your, what's it is. What's your name? Okay. Monday, Monday. Woof, woof, okay. woof, 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 woof. Yes, yeah, so I want to let everyone know my little foster, his name was Sar. Look at this little. Yeah, was, uh, oh. It was so cute. All right, so he was adopted on Saturday. It was hard because he's so cute, but the woman had, was fighting back tears. She was so excited. Oh, like, my God, that's so great. But so I just Look at that baby. Isn't he so cute? So cute. So, so cute. So I just want to let everyone know, if you have a little extra room in your house, it doesn't matter if you have cats, it doesn't matter if you have dogs, they really need fosters. Like as of today, yeah. all you do is go to dogstarrescue.org, you fill out an application, but um, what happens, you may only have the dog for a few days or a week. That was the case with Sarge, who was adopted pretty quickly. I think a lot of people think they're going to end up with the dog, which is not the case. You're just a foster. Unless you're a foster fail. Unless you're a foster fail. Sometimes I have almost been. But even as a foster family, I'll tell you, if you don't fill in that adoption application, they don't give you preference. Oh, is that interesting? So like whoever gets it, you know, they look at So even if you decide, oh my gosh, I want to keep this dog, you have to fill in that application really quickly. Oh, well, that's really interesting. But what really helps a dog, even if they're there just for a few days, they say it allows them to kind of decompress. And then when they go to the adoption event, they, they're better, they're happier. Yeah, they, absolutely. You know, a lot of them are rescued from these high kill shelters. Poor Sarge might not have made it had he not come up here and had a foster. That makes me sad. Yeah. And we're happy to say that that dog that was Luna, was it Luna? The dog that got reunited with his family after being uh, lost in the stolen car? Oh. Yeah, they, they, they stole the car with the dog in it. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, okay. I think it was Luna. I just want to check my... Uh... Okay. And the dog is okay and everyone's good. Is that yeah, everybody's saying? good. Okay. Uh, everybody's good. So okay. that's some good news because that, yeah. that it was a support therapy dog for the uh, oh, daughter. So yeah. every, that, Luna, Luna, Luna the dog is back okay. home, which is good news. All right. So there's a little romance rumor. Is there certain happening, Karen? I don't know. Do you think there's going to be a song about the Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey? Because he had Taylor Swift singing, uh, cheering him on. There she is. Look at this. She's cheering him on. She was seen with his family in the suite sitting next to his mom. Mama Kelsey sitting right there. Look at her. She's like, and they they beat the other team, the Chicago Bears. So that was good news. So they had a winning, and look, she's all excited. Oh, the now, mom's putting her hand on. I love that. Look at the mom put, touching her hand to the glass. Oh. Now, they didn't, they, they didn't talk to the press, but they did leave together. And they have not publicly confirmed any romantic link. But they Well, do, she looks pretty excited there. She looks pretty excited. And apparently, sly move, he apparently put his phone number in a friendship bracelet he gave her. Oh. Because, you know, you're supposed to wear the friendship bracelets at the T-Swift concert. So somehow oh, I didn't he, know that. He put his phone number in the friendship bracelet. Okay. Ah, so, like, can you think of a line when the song comes out? Like, I put a number in my friendship bracelet. Say <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, another huge hit. Usher, right? He is going to be performing the biggest show of his life. We're talking about Super Bowl halftime. We now know he's that's going to feature Usher, and he says he's very honored, and it's going to be a show like he has never done before. Can you imagine? And they, they uh, they're wondering if he's going to have guests, although he can certainly handle it on his own. He's like, quote, I can't wait to bring the world a show unlike again anything else they've seen from me before. It's unclear what other artists Usher might invite to perform with him, but he has worked on projects in the past with Lil Jon, Ludacris, Alicia Keys, and Will I Am. So we'll just have to wait and see. But. February 11th, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. And it's right here on CBS this yeah. year. Pick out your appetizers now. February 11th seems late this year, right? Or is that always the case? I always thought it was the first weekend of February. Oh, was it 12th last year? I okay, that's Kate. about right. It's usually like right around Valentine's Day, I feel okay. like. Okay. Yeah. All right. Love is in the air. Uh, breaking overnight. What? That the writer's strike oh, might that. be coming to an end. Huge. Yeah. So 
the top, if the rank and file approves it, it'll be over. But the they have a tentative deal, and the negotiators have said that it's a really good deal. Oh, good, and they're not striking today, which is also a really good sign. Five They've straight days of talks between the union and studio. They had lots of sticking points, including the regulation of artificial intelligence. So apparently they've come to some agreements. In last night's message to the members, they said the deal is, quote, exceptional and meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of membership. That's but we terrific. don't know the details yet, but they're recommending that the rank and file vote yes. Yeah, they had a, um, a soundbite from a young lady earlier. She said it's, it's amazing what can happen with the power of the people when they when all get together. Comes together when everybody comes together yeah and we're seeing that everywhere I mean between the UAW between them I mean it's really like a rebirth for workers and oh, how absolutely. they want the economy to be for them so it's interesting what that's gonna how that's gonna affect everything did you catch the excitement right before Kara at noon yeah Channel 3 today two of the most iconic game shows in the history returned with all new episodes yes Cara. and a brand new studio too. the 52nd season of the price is right is featured in a new studio Yay. full studio audience for the look first at that time. full studio audience and you know what we did an interview with Drew Carey if you missed it, I'll so post nice. it on my Facebook page because he was all excited about the new studio and he talked to us about everything. Also, let's make a deal celebrated. Wayne Brady, 15th anniversary hosting the show. I can't believe it's been 15 years and they hosted with a $15,000 giveaway. That's so, so that's awesome. pretty incredible. All right. Talk about a doggone good time and historic to boot. This would be kind of cool. Uh, Sunday, Paramount Pictures had a bunch of dogs come to watch movies together. I think they went to go see Paw Patrol, the mighty movie. <laughs> 219 dogs and their owners came to see Chase. <laughs> Now, I'm just wondering, like, how do you get 219 dogs in a theater and that they're all okay to sit and watch a movie? <laughs> oh, it was oh, outside. outside. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, all right. That good. makes sense. So there's, because I'm like, wouldn't they, like, get mad at each other? It's a lot of dogs together. <laughs> Look at that. Even in this close proximity, 219 dogs. Okay. Look. This makes sense. It's like a big park. Okay. All yeah. Right. So you have a way to But they did away. break a Guinness Book of World Records for having the most amount of dogs at a we movie. We should do this at, like, Elizabeth Park and stuff. That would be so cool. Paw Patrol with your dogs. I I'm, love it. I, 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 I. I mean, because they do movies in the park already, so yeah. I think that would do well if they did something like that and well, do it for a charity or something. You organize it. I'll show up with one of the fosters. Well, I'm just suggesting to all the charities out there that, hey, make that. We'll, we'll Make come. that happen. <laughs> all right, an all-star ensemble, uh, ensemble of Disney characters are teaming up for the new short film, Once Upon a Studio. It? We're yeah. talking about Mickey, Minnie, Tinkerbell, and more, Kara. Disney released look the trailer. Look at this. Look at the trailer. Take a look. Oh, my God. It's so Is that awesome. It? They all gone? Oh, boy! Come on, Minnie. This is it. Let's get the gang. Yahoo! Picture time, guys. <laughs> okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. <sighs> Water. 100 years of stories. Make it pink. Ooh, make it blue. 100 years of magic. Ooh. Ooh, help and bother. Do you think all the villains will show up? Not all. Oh. That's so cool. So it's like a whole roster of character favorites to mark Disney Animation's 100th anniversary. Did you see Ursula? Poor and multiple souls. <laughs> So you're going to see this if you go to the theaters. It'll be alongside the new movie, Wish, when that comes out in November. Okay, good. Yeah. It's a short film. It should be excellent. And it's celebrating the 100th year of Disney animation. Isn't that wild? And Little Mermaid saved the Disney animation. They were going to shut it down. Stop it. Yeah. I was watching it because you can watch Little Mermaid, and then they have the, cu the cuts now and all the digital. And they talked about, first of all, she was going to be blonde. Then they decided to make her red. But they're about to shut it, and they said it's just not making any money. And then they put out the Little Mermaid, and it, re it rescued it. Could you imagine Disney without animation? I know. Ooh, I have goosebumps. Yeah. Woo! All right, the Wiener Mobile is back yeah. after a short lived name change. Yeah, the Frank Mobile. The, ah. They changed it to the Frank Mobile and nobody liked it, so they went back to the Wiener Mobile. Why would they not just keep the Wiener Mobile? Well, I guess it's. Who okay. knows? Exactly. But that's why it works. <laughs> exactly. So now it's the Wiener Mobile Listen, again. I got to be frank. The Wiener Mobile ah, is ah, a better ah, name. Ah, ah, ah. That's hysterical. <laughs> Thank you. Adam. Uh, Thank you, Adam. Uh huh. All right. All right. So, um, are you dreaming there's of a vacation? A Oh, we're going to do the content. Okay, yeah. so uh, the Great Day Connecticut and Eyewitness News have partnered. I think this is so cool. Um, Avello Airlines 
great day fall getaway. So you're winning four tickets. I mean, airline tickets are expensive. Not always on Avello. They have some good discounts. But your four tickets on anywhere you want to go that flies uh, that Avello flies to. Keyword is marathon. Enter to win on WFSB.com. We're going to announce this week's first qualifier coming up on Arbitus News at 4. Yeah, so you got to keep watching. That's what you do. So go WFSB.com, enter the keywords marathon, then keep watching, and we'll let you know if you qualify coming up on Eyewitness News at 4. Wow, well, uh, marathon, that's a long word. Good luck putting it in. <laughs> I think you can spell I marathon. Think so too. Okay.